Which is why I will argue that garlic fries are far superior to the overhyped and frankly disgusting truffle fry. And people who prefer truffle fries... Let's keep this civil. ...are demon people with butt brains. You... <clears throat> you go to hell. Truffle fries are amazing! You go straight to hell! Well, if they're not serving truffle fries there, I'd be happy to go to hell, Soren! Yeah, but like... Which one? Trouble fries! Keep up, Katie! No. Which hell you, Soren, should keep up? Now, which portrayal of hell would you send Michael, your dearest friend, to go to? The... I mean... One of the good ones, obviously. I don't, I don't want to send Michael to a bad hell. Oh. Thanks, buddy. Anytime, buddy. So, I guess we're talking about hell? You know what hell always seemed kind of fun? I bet he's gonna tell us. I am, Hercules. It's just like a cool pool party for dead people. Except the pool is way cooler than a normal pool because it's all swirly. Yeah, but all those spirits never seemed like they were having a good time. They were just moaning and forlorn and dizzy and probably having a lot of motion sickness. And oh yeah, also they're in hell. Yeah, see, but they're just dumb. What you gotta do is pick a spot on the wall and every time you swirl around, you just check in with the spot. That way you never get dizzy. Yeah, but all the spirits are trying to leave the swirl. They're always grabbing onto Hades whenever he boats over them. Yeah, if people are trying to get out of the spirit swirl pool, it probably isn't that nice in there. It's full of spirit pee or something. I wouldn't mind. Besides, does that even count as a real hell or is it an afterlife? Is there a heaven in that movie? Only for the gods. Classism. No. Michael, the hell everyone would want is the bedazzled hell. What about a Brennan Fraser movie where he sells his soul to Elizabeth Hurley because he's sad and he wants some strange woman he's never met to fall in love with him? Uh-huh, that's the one. In Bedazzled, the hell is basically just this giant party where it's all beautiful people dancing forever and they feed you your grandmother's cookies. These are the cookies that my grandma used to make. I aim to please have some. All you gotta do is dance and eat cookies and generally be the life of the party, which is basically what all of my weekday evenings consist of anyway. Also most of my Sunday brunches. And most of my- That is horrifying. You have to spend all your time at a party, dancing and conversing. Everyone's more attractive than you and, and they might know you, but you don't know them. What do you even talk about? Being damned souls together? Eating your grandmother's cookies together forever all the time? They don't want to talk about that. They don't know my grandma. They don't even want to get to know my grandma. It's yeah, and they're not really even enjoying it. You see it when he goes back for the second time. They are definitely being tortured by over-partying. So? Doesn't mean that I would get sick of the party. I would just go on liking it for eternity. I love parties. I'm great at them. But what about when Elizabeth Hurley turns into a giant classic devil and then a giant Elizabeth Hurley in a bikini? Scary and sexy at the same time. But my point is when that happens, it takes place in a giant cavern filled with flames. So that part of hell also exists. I mean, maybe there are multiple hell options in Bedazzled, but they're all terrible. No, there are no people there. I feel like that was more just an intimidation tactic to scare him into signing his soul away. But even if that is the case, then I would just think about how much I hate parties right before I die, and then boom, I end up in party hell. You really think you could trick the devil? Yes. That is the premise of pretty much every movie where the devil appears. The devil is <laughs> he's super gullible. Oh, what about the hell from South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut? It's a normal hell, but all of the flying bone dragons fart. And then people like break into song and there's like couches and houses and it's pretty much your normal life except for like the fire and brimstone everywhere. And Satan isn't just like, blah, I'm the devil. <laughs> what devil is like, blah, I'm the devil. He's complex. He's not afraid to show his flaws. You could get to know a devil like that. You could have a beer with him. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you have to constantly be dealing with his on the rocks relationship with Saddam Hussein. I get the hell torture and everything. I'm, I'm fine with that, but being that close to a toxic relationship for eternity, I don't know. Plus, they clearly still have the rings of hell, fires of hell, standard torture going on. No, 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 no. You know what I could go for? Real nice Beetlejuice. Mm? Uh, an office? where there's paper all over the floor and a bunch of gruesomely dead people. Oh my God, Dan's right. That is horrifying. Just use a filing cabinet. I mean, there's one right there, or maybe, you know what, just alphabetize all of the, bi you know, no, you know what, you gotta color code the binders and then alpha, nope, I can't, I can't. It's too messy, it's too messy. I meant the doorway of lost souls. You see it briefly? It's all swirly inside. It's like, well, not like a pool. It's more like a slow tornado. You really like swirly hell. 
Oh, hell yes! Think about it. To swirl for eternity, then I'd be happy. Um, well, I've got swirling hell beat, right? How about the hell from all dogs go to heaven? It's like a regular normal hell with all the molten lava and stuff, but all of the demons and bone dragons are dog themed. Oh, come on. You're telling me you wouldn't want to be surrounded by cute little demon dogs and lava monster puppies forever? No, because they're not nice dogs. They're not good boys. They pinch you while you sink into lava. Plus, I guess if it was dog hell, everything would be made for dogs, you know? Like, there would only be dog food, dog-sized beds, dog stuff, dog shit. Yeah, plus, if you want a themed hell, you might as well go with robot hell from Futurama. It's just filled with a bunch of goofy robots. You could knock out the robot devil or, or beat him in a fiddle-off. Yeah, but still, again, that hell's not designed for you. You just have to stand around with a bunch of boring robot stuff to do. Robot shit. Robot food, beds, houses. Plus, even if you did knock out the robot devil, you'd still be in robot hell. I know. I got it. Best movie hell ever, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Excellent. We didn't plan that. Okay, but that's like a personalized hell, right? Isn't that the worst kind of hell, one that caters to your fears and your personal dislikes? Yeah, but hell is just about reliving embarrassing or annoying moments from your childhood, which in their case was kissing their grandma and being scared by the Easter Bunny. And when you're not reliving your childhood memories, they're just chilling on a floating rock. Exactly. You're either floating on a fucking rock or you're reliving some annoying childhood embarrassment. Easy. I relive embarrassing moments in my mind all the time. I could relive the time I farted at that monastery for eternity. Yeah, and if you want to get out of hell, all you got to do is beat the Grim Reaper at a game of Battleship. You could come and go in hell as you please. Best hell ever! Here are the truffle fries you ordered. Ooh, thank you, but I actually ordered garlic fries. We only serve truffle fries forever. <laughs> hey everybody, thank you for watching that video. You can always comment down below. You can also hit the C in the middle of the screen to subscribe or hit the bell at the bottom of the screen and that'll let you know when we've got new YouTube videos coming at you. Uh, like this hellish, scary one. Mm. Hmm. I feel like I could have done better. <laughs>